Hello, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Bahamut Lagoon! We're in... Rambellos is at our gates! To war! To war! Anyways, it's time we show off the battle system! So... Let's start off by moving our hero, Bu, a little bit closer to the bridge. Now, there's several ways of going about this. First, you see it's a typical turn-based strategy, where you can move the character about in a set grid, set on your uh, amount of movement, your movement stat. So I'm just going to set him here, and I'm going to use a sword tech, and I'm going to snipe away at this little group of soldiers over here. This is one way of going about combat in this game. Field actions, like this one. Complete with explosions and fiery stuff. Enemies are taking damage, which is a good thing. And we're receiving experience, also a good thing. And our dragon is moving. Oh yeah, I guess I need to explain about how the dragons work, don't I? Oh well, let's watch the guys burn, and then I shall. And the dragons get experience too. Okay. How this works is... Well, as you noticed, I didn't control my dragon at all. And you only have... To, you have an incredibly limited amount of control over these dragons. You got three orders. You got come, go, and wait. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is, for this battle, I'm going to show off each one of these commands as it is. So I'm going to have this dragon here, Molten, the white dragon, wait. Typically because all, he, all the dragon specializes in healing. And none of us really need heal right now. So... I'm then going to take Sendak here and go ahead and burn this group of soldiers over here. That'll work. And thus my turn ends. And he comes over here and pops himself right next to me. Now, and then the final dragon makes its move. I strike is well our ice dragon. Fairly uh, self-explanatory. After we move, the enemy moves. But then again, this is how turn-based strategy game works. Strategy games work. Okay. Now you'll notice the water froze over. This is one of the interesting things about this combat system. You have control over your environment depending upon which elements you use. Now, these guys just happened to have. No, actually, they didn't. They didn't clear it perfectly. I was going to say, you can make ice bridges for people. Just like this one I'm about to make right now. And if I'm not mistaken, you don't have to worry about harming your dragons in, uh... Ah, oh, so we are crossing the river. Be careful when using fire magic. Heed his advice. Because if you use fire magic on that, well... Should be obvious, but that ice is going to melt. And actually, I'm going to... See if I can lure one of these soldiers onto the ice. Yeah, just set my guy right over here, and then hilarity shall ensue. Hopefully. But first, another sword tech. Let's get these two. Don't worry, I do intend to rush the enemy at some point, but... Oh, people are leveling up. Tis a good thing. Oh. 
Head on combat. Doesn't this look vaguely familiar to you? Yes, it's the Final Fantasy Battle System. Now, since this is a dragon, I don't have much control over it. But, hopefully by the end of this battle you should be able to see what a real close encounter looks like. Or actually, maybe even now. Oh, actually, n no. No, I can't do that now. So at this point, I'm going to show off, um, let's have his dragon go. Thus, he will attack freely. Now, I realize this, I just made a mistake. I can't burn the bridge and have the enemies drown in the river now, but, oh well. It's not really that fun. But if it does, let's move. Take Kana Castle by force, or Kana Castle by horse. Oh no, they're attacking my dragon. Will it survive? Yeah, those swords are puny. I'm not too worried. Oh, they have moved on. Everybody, quickly, cross the bridge. Wait, no. Oh, great, boss is taking it on. Nope. Aha. Fool, you cannot ha hit which f that which flies. Anyways, let's go ahead and move. I'll just burn that section. Don't bew your dragons in the way. Ah. Alright, Syndac's gonna burn the bridge. If that's the case. Now, let's get into some real hand-to-hand -hand combat. With this guy right over here. Okay. I am a huge fan of this battle system. Because you gotta strategize whether or not you should, um... Wait. Yeah. You can do a lot more damage this way. Yeah, at the same time, you're also exposing yourself to a lot more. You can still win battles just by sniping across the river, you know, like with the uh, magic and stuff, but honestly, the characters are so well animated that you kind of feel obligated to go to these battles. Okay. Now, hopefully, this guy won't kill us. So I can... Well, never mind. Never mind. Nice job, Salmando. You've just ruined my fun. Anyways. Even though Maidalite is a knight, he, his group is composed of four people. So let's take a look. Yeah, you have a party assigned to each dragon. Four to each. In this case, we have two knights, Maidalite and Barclay, and Anast An Anastasia and Nectarina. Both are mages, thus allowing you to... Wait, whoops. Continue sniping. And since this happens to be an ice dragon, you should stick to ice magic. It's slightly more powerful. Now, hopefully I'll take a... Nope. Nope. Not quite enough. And if you've noticed, ice, the Dragon Ice Drake is a fan of using field attacks. We can change this, but it's not all that easy. Anyway, I gotta finish up this match real quick here, so let's move. Alright, can I do this? Can I finish this up now? Burn! Burn! Die! Die! Make good use of the turbo button. Okay. I shall let Molten deal the final blow. 
Nom 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 nom. If we get drugs. Is it over? Yes, it's over! Enemy lose, player win! This is the first of many battles. Obviously. I expect this to be a long LP. <laughs> and everybody's leveled up? But what's this? Find out next time on another exciting edition of Let's Play Bomb at Lagoon! Until next time.